I'm here to ignite a debate about electric luxury. Is it a compromise or is it perfection? 102 EX is an experimental car. The first modern Rolls-Royce to feature an alternative drivetrain. It's a working testbed designed to spark a debate on the future of powertrains in ultra-luxury motorcars. It, by its nature, was an experimental car. We, we obviously want to learn as much um, as we can about our existing product and, and how it will be perceived with a different powertrain. Powertrain debates are going to go on for the future in terms of what is going to be the right solution. A fully electric vehicle is one solution to an alternative powertrain. Whether it's the right solution um, at this stage, nobody really knows. The other really important thing for us was to enable people to make a direct comparison. You can compare the existing V12 and then walk into our electric car and you can see what the differences are. And I think that's important. The battery has gone in where the engine and gearbox is. Having no prop shaft, we've utilised that area to run all of the high voltage cables. We've mounted the motors and gearbox in the space where the fuel tank used to be. And that's meant that we've managed to retain the rear wheel drive characteristics of Phantom. Let's look into what the brand promise of Rolls-Royce is. Rolls-Royce stands for effortless, silent and powerful motoring. So I'm very much interested in uh, getting feedback from our owners whilst they are driving that fantastic car. Is it appropriate? Is it the right way to proceed for Rolls-Royce as a brand? Is there a compromise in which might not be acceptable? This is exactly what we, as a brand, want to find out. In terms of the driving dynamics, we are obviously trying to get the same feeling, the same waftability that you get with Phantom. Obviously, the thing that strikes people with a Rolls-Royce is its silent nature when you're driving and the real benefit is the fact that you have this effectively seamless power and that's the characteristic that we've been developing with the electric powertrain. Obviously the big benefit is we've got torque at zero revs and torque is what actually gives you that feeling of whoosh. Over the next 12 months, Rolls-Royce will be taking 102EX on a global test program to seek the views of owners, thought leaders and journalists. The team will also use this opportunity to put the car through its paces in different conditions around the world. Now this debate is definitely international and uh, we will use that car as a test bed in all international markets. I would like to get a substantial input, not only out of one country, but out of all our relevant markets in the world. I would like to encourage everybody to take part in that debate. Is electric and luxury in accordance? And is this the right answer regarding alternative drivetrains in a Rolls-Royce motor car?